All right, this is my new Corbin Gambler seat for a 2018 uh, Fat Bob. This is the black uh, bomber jacket. It's got like some distressed gray. This is the gripper side panel, like gripper material. Uh, black welt. That's the passenger. This is Corbin in the rear. For anybody that's interested in the Corbin Gambler seat, it's similar to the Saddleman uh, step-up seat or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the only difference is is that uh, the Saddleman has a steeper uh, backrest and a narrower seat and a narrower passenger uh, a narrower passenger, I guess, seat if you want to call it. Uh, so I went with the Corbin just because you can pick whatever colors you want at no extra charge. It's about a hundred bucks more than the Saddleman, but I think that's kind of nice. Uh, you can get actual leather, so this is leather, their leather, and then you get whatever you could do a leather side. I decided to do like the gripper, which is kind of like dirt bike or gripper side panels because I wasn't really sure what else I wanted to do other than just black. This is black stitching. You could do gold stitching, you could do red stitching, you could do whatever you want, and then you can even add whatever color welt you want, no after charge. I just wanted to do black with the gray. I went with the Corbin because it has a wider seat profile, and I wanted to get something that was more comfortable and less uh, stylish. Um, but I think this kind of hits both. And that's the diamond pattern. Also, I uh, flipped my mirrors, which I think is a must on this. Uh, it works so much better, looks so much nicer. I picked it up from another guy's video on here, but uh, I had it on my 48, and I, I uh, really liked having the lower mirrors. You get much more visibility. It looks a lot nicer. And that's the Corbin gambler seat still running the thrash and supply essential bags TBR slip-ons and then I'm actually gonna run a breather system I got my breather kit and what I've decided to do is I'm gonna take the hose from the breather kit and on the 114's stock air cleaner uh, behind this little plastic plate there's actually a hole for uh, you know another cover I guess you can get like other covers that would just be a single bolt and the Canon air filter actually has a threaded prong in the middle of that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna either take my stock air filter and just drill a hole in the metal plate that's on this filter this already has a hole this metal plate already has a hole and I'm just gonna breathe externally I'm gonna run the breather holes right to it I have a brass uh, T coming a 1 4th T to I think a 1 8th thread. I have both a male and a female tree coming or T coming uh, to see which works better, whether it's better to thread on the female to, female to hose or thread on a male to female and see how it clamps better. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna breathe to atmosphere uh, just like that. There's a hose in it and I'm probably gonna cut down some of this in here to make it really snug, but that's what I'm gonna do to breathe the atmosphere. And uh, I think it'll look, uh, I think it'll look pretty cool. And it's an easy way to not have to drill into your back plate. And you could go back to stock just by putting an air filter in there. It actually doesn't drill any holes. It just uses the hole, the, the stock holes that are already on that air filter.